you have the best job ever. People say to me all the time, oh, it must be great to play with puppies and kittens 24 seven. They picture me in a pile of puppies uh, giving out treats endlessly or playing with all the kittens everywhere all day. And while I do agree that pet photography is the best job ever, unfortunately it isn't puppies and kittens all day. Money Grenet here, photographer at Silverpaw Studio. Like any business, there are, of course, office tasks. We have bookkeeping, marketing, advertising, social media trends, um, networking, blog writing, making videos. We spend time searching for vendors and revising websites, crunching pricing numbers. We attend conferences and workshops. We read business books and devour podcasts. Unique to pet photography businesses are the hours we spend in the computer magically removing leashes. We're trying to learn new lighting techniques for different types of fur. Most importantly, we're learning how to respond to animal body language. Of course, we also spend time learning camera techniques, searching for locations that are pet friendly and deciding on the best settings for fast moving animals versus a family with people and pets. Of course, there is the glorious hour or two a week that we do spend photographing fur babies. That's really when we're playing with the pups and the kitties, we're giving them out treats, we're loving on them, we're trying to make this the best day ever. I might be running around the park with a pup, or I might be sitting patiently with a shy kitty on the couch. When I'm at a photography session, the world just melts away. All the paperwork, all the office tasks, all of the appointments I have on the calendar, they just melt away. Only thing that exists during that time is the pets and their people. I'm making that hour fun, memorable, and easygoing for everyone. I've even had days where I didn't feel good. Maybe I had a headache or the remnants of a cold. And during that photo session, those were completely gone. There is a moment in time where all the skills, knowledges, and reflexes combine to create art out of chaos. When you push that shutter button and something magical happens. When you freeze the look. That look when the client sees the image and their eyes go wide and their hands fly to their face. <gasps> That's them. That's my pet. You got it. Those moments are glorious. From the office tasks to the actual portrait sessions, I actually love it all. When Mondays come along, I'm like, yeah, Monday. <laughs> Editing your portraits, uh, meeting with business people, learning new tech. It's all wonderful. But there is a downside. <sighs> the heartbreaking and emotional stories that I hear from people. People who wish they'd hired a pet photographer. People who, with tears in their eyes, show me the last snapshot they have of their pet on their phone before they passed away. When I'm at an event and one person after another comes up to me and says, oh, I so wish I would have hired a pet photographer and now it's too late. Maybe they've dealt with a sudden loss and didn't even have a chance to hire a photographer. This is the downside to pet photography. These devastating, heartbreaking stories. You see, in pet photography, there's no milestones of life. In the human photography world, there's newborn pictures and weddings and high school seniors. There's just not a universal milestone for pets that everyone says, oh, this is happening. I need to get a photograph of my pet to mark this milestone. And as we know, time just marches on. Our pets never live as long as we hope. And before we know it, our fur babies can be reaching the final days of their time on Earth. And if you're like me, the first thing you do when a pet passes is you go gather all of the photos and videos you've ever taken of that pet or anyone has taken of that pet. 
I remember when Libby passed away, I wanted a video clip of her infamous sneeze trick and I couldn't find it. And I realized the video was in a live stream. So I had a friend of mine find that live stream clip and save it for me. And I just really cherish that. Even as a pro photographer, I yearn to have just one more pro picture of each pet. Now, don't get me wrong, this video message is not meant to instill a sense of guilt onto you or a push to hire a pet photographer, whether that be me or anyone else. It's to help you consider what milestones you can mark in your pet's life. What are important dates or accomplishments that you want to be sure that you have images of? And maybe at that point you do commit to hire a professional pet photographer like myself or someone in your area. I know for me, I constantly declared that Libby my poodle was going to live forever and nobody could tell me different. Now all I have left of Libby is her collar and any of the photographs that I have of her. And I cherish those. Her canvas hangs behind me and every time my new pup Bailey sneezes, it reminds me of Libby. These are physical proof that she existed. I didn't dream her up. There she is, large and real. She is memorialized forever. Her light will never extinguish. So maybe the downside of pet photography is lights extinguished. So if you're watching this snuggled on the couch with your pet right now, stop the video and just take a selfie or turn the camera around and just record a quick video of them being them. And if you've been putting off calling a professional pet photographer, stop the video now and Google one in your area. I have never met anyone who regretted hiring a pet photographer, but I have met plenty who regretted not hiring one. What is your milestone moment that you're going to create for your pets? How will you memorialize that milestone? Of course, if you want to hire me, if you're in the Northern Colorado area or somewhere close by, definitely give me a call, text, or email. My All my contact information is listed. I would love to spend an hour with you and your fur babies, showering them with love, attention, and T-R-E-A-T-S's. Or if you need help finding a pet photographer in your area, I can help you with that as well. And as always, I wish you many whoops, purrs, and T-R-E-A-T-S's.